Well, good morning, folks. Uh, here we are at Horton Falls National Park at the campground. Had a pretty good, pretty good night's sleep last night. Uh, it's clouded over a bit this morning. It was a bit cloudy last night, but I uh, got up in the middle of the night, as you do, and uh, skies were clear. So this is rolled in again. Uh, plan for days is to uh, have some breakfast, cup of coffee, uh, break camp and just head back home. But uh, I'll be going through some more back roads, a couple other different places. I think we're going to go up through Cobbadar and uh, somewhere else. Can't remember where at the moment. So anyway, so um, yeah, it should be another good day riding. And um, we'll get packed up and uh, get on the road. All right, let's get this show on the road. Uh, well done. Straight up. I said... Let's get this show on the road, not let's f***ing fall on the road. Right, let's try that again. How embarrassment. So a quick look down here. Oh yeah, not the little swimming hole. Further upstream than the one at the falls. It's pretty still though. Flow. Very gentle flow. Hazy this morning, just hoping that it doesn't deteriorate into anything worse than just a bit of haze. So I hope we don't get any rain. Always go plan B, just fly tail at home.
having a bit of a chat, talking to the neighbours. One side of the cattle grid to the other. Catching up on all the gossip. Yeah, that was a good little spot to stop, all over. Change the batteries in the camera, put some more fuel in the uh, in the Himalayan. I've got these two five litre jerry cans here, got them off eBay. Had a couple of guys pull over to make sure I was okay. First guy just waved him through. He was happy to keep going, I was gave him the thumbs up. Second guy actually stopped. Turns out that he rides a DR650 bush pig. So, um, yeah, he was interested in the bike and how it goes and suggested I get a safari tank for it, but I don't believe they make one for him alone. So yeah, so I thank him for pulling over. He's on his way, Whoa, I'm on my way. Just make sure you make the corner. It's a nice little windy bit of road here. I haven't been along here before.
had someone make a comment on the channel about um, I should add more dialogue to my videos. It's a fair comment. Um, sometimes I just like to, you know, ride and um, take in the scenery. Sometimes you've got to concentrate. I don't really feel like I want to talk just for the sake of talking. Just I think part of the, what I want to do, achieve with the channel and with my videos is just let the country speak for itself. Just to show off this great land of ours. Let people see, you know, that there's good stuff on the back roads. You can get out and just enjoy these farm roads. I do agree that, you know, it's good to have a bit more dialogue in there. When James and I rode together, we didn't have comms. But when I rode the other week with uh, Ryan and Barney, we all had comms. I'd like to be able to get that, the dialogue that they're saying come through and be recorded on the camera. That'll be really great, but hopefully one day Insta360 will work that out for you know, one RS, make that compatible with Cardo. But I think predominantly I'm going to be riding solo for the time being, which means opportunities for conversation a bit limited. But anyway, we don't have to talk all the time. Like I say, sometimes just let the countryside speak for itself. Just like that, we're back on the blacktop. Well, this weather's improving. It's a little bit oh, kind of iffy before. Could have gone either way. Clouds appear to be breaking up a little bit. Thankfully, the little bit on the sign that said, no through road, hmm, maybe that means you can't get through there, Phil. Maybe you should go the other way. All right, let's go the other way then. That other way would be this way.
Okay, let's shoot. Don't have Barney. No, ladies, don't get up. It's fine. Just stay right where you are. left. Weather like this, this is actually great riding weather. It's, I think it's probably about 21, 22 degrees. Not too hot, not too sunny. The clouds cover is actually quite good. It's keeping the temperature down a little bit. Uh, it's not glary, not overly. Not feeling too hot, not feeling too cold. It's just pleasant. I don't have to be worried about how I'm, my comfort level, I can just concentrate on riding. Just feel good and just enjoy the day, enjoy the moment. So for a bit of context, this is October, which puts us at what, the middle of spring in the Southern Hemisphere down here in Australia. So the days are warmer, getting longer, daylight savings kicked in here in New South Wales, so the sun's up a bit longer. It's just the perfect, perfect season for riding, it's not too hot. I do plan on doing some rides in the summertime though. I'll probably go into some high altitude stuff where it's going to be a bit cooler up top, maybe back up to Barrington or cooler tops or Capitar, somewhere like that. But in the meantime, springtime, it's good just general riding weather. Go anywhere. Since the battery's about to run out on this camera, I'll say goodbye now for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I've had a blast making it. This has been a great little ride. Uh, if you like the sort of stuff that I put out on the channel, please consider subscribing and liking. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what your thoughts are about this video. 
or even just say g'day. Let me know where you're from. So I'll just say cheerio for now. We'll let the camera roll out and um, we'll see you next time. Until then. I must say this is great riding at the moment, I'm really loving this road.